Hey everybody, welcome back to Sam's Doing Stuff. What am I doing? Well, let's talk about that a little bit. This week, I'm gonna be getting ready for the warmer weather because, you know, previous videos, we got ready for all the cold and snow. Well, that's over, now we're gonna be close to the 50s. But, this is something that uh, I was watching, Peak's Peak Hobby Homestead. And I watch a lot of different channels. I watch, uh, I'll tell you what, Adam with Hometown Acres, love his channel, uh, you know, Anyway, I keep talking about those guys, and, and, but the one thing that struck a note with me is, you know, he's got this Peaks Peak, uh, Lucas over at Peaks Peak. If you, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go check his channel out. Um, he, he's got this truck that he was gonna build, and I don't know the whole story behind it, but he's decided he's gonna give up on it, he's gonna sell it, but he was talking about the content, you know, that his channel, and he's got more subscribers than I do. He's much bigger than I am right now. I think he's at least three times as big now, um, but, it's always oh, more than that. Anyway, whatever. You know, there's algorithms and there's uh, subject matter and I know how it all works. I know how YouTube works and if you stick to a certain subject matter or if you do, you know, freaking gaming videos or something like that, you can get a lot more subscribers and a lot more. But this channel, and this is something that I'm talking to uh, my new subscribers more than my old because you know, you never know what you're going to get with me, okay? Some of the stuff might be more interesting to you, some of them at night might not, but, but it's, it's just gonna be true to my life and what I'm going through. Um, so I'm always gonna try and be open with you and uh, tell you what's going on in my head as long as, as it's you know, appropriate for YouTube. <laughs> and, and we're gonna see what I'm doing. You know, it, it, we're all gonna learn some stuff uh, along the way. So I really appreciate all the comments you guys have said and all the encouragement from last video. Um, actually, last video was the snow pine video. I'm talking about the one before uh, where I'm talking about uh, trying to prepare and get ready. I, 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 you know, is a balance in life. You need to, um, you know, think about things and take care of concerns, let's put it that way. But you also need to enjoy your life. So you can't get all wrapped up in it. And sometimes I'll go down a rabbit hole and uh, I need to catch myself because, you know, I, I, I'm not gonna, if, if, if my life ended tomorrow, I wanna, I wanna die with a smile on my face. I wanna, I wanna be doing stuff that I enjoy. So anyway, back to what I'm doing right now. We're gonna take this plow off and somebody commented with a great idea. The worst thing about putting this, now this was a BX2812. If you watched last video, you saw it's just snow plowing. The BX2812 and it's a great plow. Very, very nice plow, but one thing, and it's pretty much, Comes along with the territory with the BX, you know, it's the, what do they call it, the uh, Swiss Army knife of tractors, is you've got a lot of different attachments and things to put on and take off and everything. And unless you buy a separate tool, like when I bought that zero turn mower, you're gonna have to put things on and take things off, like this plow. Well, the biggest headache with this plow is these hoses going through these uh, pigtails, I guess they are, little curly Q metal things. And I had somebody comment and said what they do is they just gather their hoses and they put some of these on them. Just wrap them around and then hook that to the little pigtail, to the little curly cue. So we're gonna try that and see how well it works. All right, so let's get these out of here. You gotta find the one that's closest to the hole, get it started, and it's cold, so it's difficult, of course. Here we go. These two here are the loose ones. Gotta get that up through there. Bend it a little more. Okay, there it goes. Oop, don't wanna break anything. There's one. I'll get the next one started if I can. Yeah, if you do two at once, sometimes it's a little easier. They follow each other, you know. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, gotta get that through. There it goes. Okay, now just kind of twist them around here, get them to go past each other, and then out the bottom. There's one. There's the other. It's a little easier now with this one once you get the first one done. So we'll do the same thing. Gotta get them to follow each other. So it 
going around there. All right, get the first one going. There we go, get the second one. Yeah, this is real time too, so you can see exactly what I go through to get these on and off. There we go, one, two. Now, the other ones, I don't know, the other ones are super easy. You can just feed those through. So if I just kept those in there, and then take this and wrap it around the whole thing, like that, that's pretty darn nice. And do the same thing over here. Yeah, I think I could live with that. That would be secure enough. Plenty of room for the tire to turn, I think. I could even push it up top a little if I wanted to. I don't know, sure is a lot easier than feeding it through those curly cues. All right, well, keep that in mind for next time. Now, before I go disconnecting these things from the hydraulics, I wanna make sure I lift this plow up because the most important part of this whole operation for me is this dolly. Now I can disconnect these pins. There we go. Now I can just disconnect these hoses. I'm just gonna lay them over this out of the way. So easy. I don't know, if that bungee works well enough, I might just wrap it around all four of them and just connect it to these pigtails, just like that. Hey, whatever's easier. All right, now, this thing is heavy, but it's not ridiculously heavy. So we're just gonna pull this pin Set it to the side. There it comes. Nope, I almost had it. <laughs> almost. There it is. Come on. There it is. Okay. Just like that. There we go. And now the plow is off and I put the loader back on. And this is when I always toy with the idea of if I had an SSQA mounted plow or snow pusher, how much easier that would be to go back and forth. But that plow is so good. It does such an amazing job and I love being able to aim back and forth. When you do a long driveway, a plow is the best thing to have. If you're doing like a parking lot, a snow pusher is the right thing to have. And yes, I could get a loader mounted SSQA plow that had third function hydraulic to angle it back and forth. And I have a third function. But there's also the fact that that puts that plow out quite a bit farther than what this plow is. And this one's mounted directly to the frame. It's not gonna bend anything. It's not gonna break anything, knock on wood. I, I, I love the, the way it works. So I'm just gonna stick with it and I'll just keep, I'll just have to fight with taking it on and off. It's what it is, right? So now we got the tractor back for warm weather work and that will be firewood.
It is actually a rather pleasant morning. And the ground's still frozen, but not for long. Tonight, we get rain, freezing rain actually, gonna turn into ice. I'm probably close school again. My daughter has had, if they close school tomorrow, she will have had three days in the last, in 12 days, three out of 12 days of school. 25%, well, less than 25%. Oh, gotta get it done. Okay, almost cleaned up enough that I can get ready to cut some more logs and make some more firewood. But you guys know about me and my systems, okay? It's gotta be cheap, it's gotta be modular. You know, that golf cart cover cab. That thing, cheap, 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 cheap. And keeps the wind off me and that's all I need. You know, I dress warmly and that's good, but if it keeps the wind off, the, the walls on these barns that I built out of free lumber from my dad's pool, Cheap, 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 cheap. But they're keeping the wind off me right now and it's all good. So anyway, back to this. Now this is cheap, cheap, cheap. We've got just pallets stacked on top of each other. A couple of six by sixes that I actually got for free, of course. <laughs> they're just stuff that I save. And uh, then I built this out of uh, repurposed lumber. And this is my bucking station. Now I'm not gonna take credit for this idea because I was watching Sawing with Sandy and I saw him build his. I made some modifications to make it my own, but uh, this thing, this thing is really nice. No more measuring, you know, just roll the log out, chop, 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 it's good to go. But right now, all of my logs are over there and I need to be able to get to them with the tractor. And my bucking station is in front of them. So I need to move it and I'm trying to figure out where. Okay, I think I am now finally ready. <laughs> I spent a whole lot more time than I should have trying to figure out a configuration for all of this inside this 40 by 40 barn. Now I'm very thankful to have this barn, believe me, but trying to work and do firewood in here, you're still limited to the 1600 square feet that I have. So anyway, I'm gonna load up this deck with logs, we're gonna fire up the farm boss. This is a really good uh, use for it, cutting up firewood, and uh, we're gonna get this done. All right, let's just take a second, take a break and appreciate a good thing. This system is working fantastically. I love this live deck with the new bucking station. It just, you just roll the logs down and these are some pretty darn big logs. Check these out, you know, these are good sizable logs. Anyway, do all my cutting right here and then I throw the rounds into this IBC tote that has the front cut out of it. And of course it's attached to the forks using these carabiners. Those are those cheap carabiners that are just uh, they're made for holding your purse on a stroller. <laughs> you know what I mean, guys? Yeah, anyway, so I put one on each side and sometimes they bend, but like I say, they're kind of cheap. So they're kind of an expendable uh, item. Anyway, so then I take that and I bring it over here and I've been dumping the rounds over in this corner. Now, the goal here is I want to get this end of the barn completely cleared out. I've got these this is it, this is all, I've, well I've got that big oak tree outside, but 
in the barn. This is, this is the last of it. So once this is all done and it's all processed over here and stacked in the corner, I wanna bring the big dump trailer in through that barn door right there. And if I back that big dump trailer in here, I'll be able to split these rounds and process directly into that dump trailer. Number one, if I need to take it out to the, to the field and stack it, it's gonna make it easier. Number two, if I need to deliver it immediately, which is probably gonna happen, I can do that. And number three, it's gonna make splitting a lot easier because I won't have to keep stopping. You know, I just keep going, 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 go, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you just keep going. <laughs> anyway, I'll be able to do two cords into that uh, dump trailer. It's not going to speed up the splitter. That's a slow splitter, but it'll at least keep the process going and I'll be able to run two full cords into that dump trailer without stopping. So let's not stop. Let's keep going. Doggies, that's a lot of wood. You know, I don't typically like to do it like that. I don't usually like to just cut, 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 cut. I like to do a little cutting, a little splitting, a little stacking, you know, but I have to because I really, really need to get all this done. Getting that dump trailer in here is gonna be a, a, a big deal, let's put it that way. So, but it's not gonna happen today. Nope, it's gonna happen, have, have to happen next time. Hey, you know what? Feels good though, feels, well, 56 degrees on January 25th feels really good, you know? <laughs> Helps you to get out, you know, get some, get some exercise. Guess what? You know we're growing twice as fast as we did last year, and as of today, I think we were at like 2,955 subscribers, I think? We're getting close. By the time you watch this video, we might be at 3,000, so, all right, it's all because of you. I really appreciate it, so hit that thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the comment section, and blather on for as long as you want to. Whatever drives the algorithm and makes YouTube love me. That's all I care. <laughs> I care about YouTube. So anyway, I will catch you next time when I am doing more stuff. See you then.